The Health System Strengthening Project, HSSP, demonstrated its support to the implementation of Universal Health Coverage, UHC, activities for an investment of the purchase of lobotomy chairs to be used at the sites where the services are provided. The phlebotomy chairs handed over to the Ministry of Health will be used to enhance the quality of lab services provided to St. Lucians, accessing the health services of performance-based financing PBF and Universal Health Coverage UHC. Financial Management Specialists of the Health System Strengthening Project and the OECS Regional Health Project, Rosalia Joseph, spoke on the commitment of the project to strengthen health system capacity, which will play a significant part in ensuring the successful implementation of universal health coverage. Today marks a major step for the Health System Strengthening Project, HSSP. In its effort to support universal health coverage and ensure the necessary activities are undertaken to achieve this goal. The procurement of the fibrotomy chairs on the component one of the Health System Strengthening Project will be handed over to the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs. It demonstrates that the project recognizes the importance of making investment in the health sector. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Jenny Daniel, thanked the Project Implementation Unit for the support provided to universal health coverage and reiterated the vision to provide quality health care for all and strengthen the health sector. During this year, the Ministry pledges to continue to provide support and to push the UHC agenda to ensure that we have the desired expansion and the desired increased accessibility of our population to quality health care services. Director of Universal Health Coverage, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, expressed gratitude for the procurement of the phlebotomy chairs and said it will meet the standards of providing quality service delivery of universal health coverage to both clients and staff. The laboratory services offered form an integral part of what is going to be offered within the essential package of health services under UHC. All of the service packages do have a diagnostic component which is laboratory based and therefore it is expected that these phlebotomy chairs will be in constant use as we roll out more services under UHC. Minister for Health, the Honorable Moses Jabatis, commended the collaborative efforts to provide essential and quality health services to the people and reiterated the commitment of the government to implement UHC in a phased approach. In last year's budget, we, there is $1.8 million which we are spending now on universal health coverage. I wish to thank the Prime Minister and Minister for Finance for getting an additional revenue source of the 2.5% levy on health and security as an investment into all of this. 24 phlebotomy chairs were handed over and will be placed at the community wellness centers where UHC and PBF services are provided, the lab at St. Jude Hospital, and the Ezra Long lab at the Millennium Heights Medical Complex. The phlebotomy chairs were purchased under Component 1 of the Health System Strengthening Project, HSSP, in the tune of U.S. $34,199. Reporting from the Project Implementation Unit within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Funnel Neptune.